This month, the New York Times published an article that rocked the foundation of a standard medical procedure that surgeons had been performing on women with breast cancer for the past 100 years. Removal of the lymph nodes under the armpit. And this is a procedure based on the belief that this would prolong a woman's life by making it less likely for the cancer to spread through her lymphatic system or to come back. And for your reference, just refer to the February 9th 2011 edition of the Times, and you can also look in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Dr. Monica Morrow, she's Chief of the Breast Service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital, she's author of this study, and it was funded by the National Cancer Institute, conducted at 115 medical centers and involved 891 patients whose average age was mid-50s and they were followed for an average of 6.3 years. So to summarize the New York Times article, which was titled, Lymph Node Study Shakes Pillar of Breast Cancer Care. Lymph Node Study Shakes Pillar of Breast Cancer Care, for your reference. And this reported findings of this new study on women with early breast cancer. And it stated that the standard lymph node removal is unnecessary for women who are diagnosed early and who meet certain criteria. Why? Because they found that extensive lymph node removal was found to have no survival advantage. In other words, women were paying a price for this surgery with no gain in lifespan. Now, how does this translate in numbers? Well, just in the U.S. alone, it means about 20% of patients, or 40,000 women a year, will no longer need their lymph nodes removed. And this also causes complications like infections, numbness, and fluid collecting under the armpit, and lymphedema, which uh, many breast cancer patients fear. And this is a swelling of the arm, and is often painful, and affects the range of motion. And this can persist for many years, and in some women for life. Now the study showed that for women who took chemotherapy and radiation, and this is the standard treatment for women with breast cancer in the lymph nodes, that any cancer in these nodes was probably wiped out by this treatment, of course, making that surgery redundant. However, like women in the study who catch their cancers early, they'll still have to have at least one lymph node removed to look for cancer but the taking out of one or even a few should be enough, rather than the old practice of taking out numerous nodes, in some cases all of them, and then counting the number of cancer nodes to determine the course of treatment. Now these new findings combined with similar studies should result in breast cancer treatment centers modifying their protocols. Nonetheless, the belief in the necessity of extensive lymph node removal is really ingrained and widespread, and it could take some time for this to be adapted. And that's why I'm reporting on this particular study, so you can dig deeper than I have time for here and become informed enough to bring this up with your surgeon with confidence should you be diagnosed in early stage an early stage being defined as a clinical stage T1 or T2, meaning less than two inches across. And also be aware that this study is a result of a slowly evolving trend to move away from radical surgery for breast cancer. See, the number of mastectomies, which is the removal of the entire breast, actually began decreasing in the 1980s after studies proved that survival rates after lumpectomy and radiation were just as good in many cases as those with mastectomy. Dr. Susan Love has been at the forefront of quite a number of such studies that have been very monumental in advancing practices in breast cancer, which in turn give women more science-based choices. And she responded to this Times article saying, and I'm going to quote here, uh, here's a few excerpts. Uh, surgery is really effective in some situations. If someone has appendicitis and you remove their appendix, you've cured them. Yet for many conditions, surgery is a very crude way of dealing with a disease. All too many breast cancer patients think, if I offer my breasts to the gods, my life will go back to normal and I will not die of breast cancer. But too often, this does not work. 
they have the radical surgery, and they still die of cancer. Once we truly understand what causes a certain disease, we can move from the nonspecific crude approach of surgery to a more subtle and often more effective one. When I was in training 30 years ago, ulcer surgery was common. We spent many nights taking out stomachs that were bleeding or had perforated from peptic ulcers. Often we saved those people's lives. Now we know that ulcers are caused by an infection, and we cure them with antibiotics. In retrospect, the surgical approach seems pretty crude. Um, Susan Love, she's president of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation and clinical professor of surgery at LA's University of California, David Gethin School of Medicine. And she believes that we need to go beyond a cure, be it surgery or drugs, and end it before it starts. So let's support her in that by going to www.armyofwomen.org, armyofwomen.org, and participate in her research to find the cause. She's looking for breast cancer survivors and women who don't have breast cancer to get involved. And there's no cost, and you choose what you want to participate in. Like Dr. Love, I would find it a lot more satisfying to be able to talk with you about how to prevent the disease in the first place because we actually knew for sure the cause. Till next time, be well.